Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how to build an infrared proximity motion detector. Now normally you would uh, set this up to control a relay like this but for demonstration purposes I have substituted the relay with an LED so you can see it working. As you can see when I move my hand over it, it detects the motion and turns the LED on where normally it would control a relay. Now I also have had to turn the sensitivity of this down a bit. Um, normally you'd get about a foot range as you can see it's not turning on but my camera lights or video lights I'm using are super bright and they were interfering with it. In a normal application, you're not going to have that problem, and you will get about a foot range out of this. But um, because of my photo lights, I have to actually get within like three, four inches of it for it to activate. But um, when we get over to the programming for the, uh, the Arduino, I'll show you how you can modify that so you can get it back up um, it's going to be about a foot range. If you're using this in complete, complete darkness, you could probably get about two feet out of it. But on normal applications, you're going to get about a foot. Um, if it is in a super bright area, maybe six inches. But uh, because of my video lights, it is diminishing the, uh, the distance. And like I said, when we get over... To the programming for the Arduino, I'll show you uh, how to change that so it all works. But uh, we'll do first. We'll take a look here at the circuit click. Then uh, we'll go over and look at the uh, the diagram the schematic for the circuit and go through it. And then we'll um, we'll go and take a look at the Arduino sketch for making this work. Now there's many applications for this, and you've probably seen them in use almost every day. Um, some of the new water faucets and you know, if you've been in a public restroom you have those water faucets where you put your hands under them and they turn on and they are probably using this technology to turn them on also there's the hand dryers that you'll see in a lot of public restrooms that work the same way when you stick your hands under it what they're using is they're using an infrared detector like this now they might not be using the uh, the Arduino and uh, actually, my next video, I'm going to show how to build a standalone version where you don't have to use the Arduino. Um, we'll use an OP amp as a comparator. So um, if you're interested in that, um, just uh, subscribe or check my videos. Because after I'm done shooting and uploading this video, I am going to start working on that. And I'll probably have it done today and if it's not uploaded today it will be uploaded tomorrow so just check my channel out if you're interested in that all right well what we have is of course we have our arduino board right here and i'm using the nano um i like these they're nice and small and they plug right onto the breadboard but you could use the same thing with uh, an uno or a mega or whatever arduino board you have even a lily pad will work and then um, we have our infrared transmitter, or LED. And then we have our infrared transistor. And that's the one that's black right here. So what's happening is these kind of are directional. So when they're side by side like this, the, the infrared transistor is not picking up the light from the infrared diode. But if you put your hand above it, it's reflecting the, the infrared light. And then the, the infrared transistor can pick it up. And it's telling the Arduino well, to turn the relay on. But of course, I'm using an LED just for demonstration purposes. Because normally you'd want to have like a relay or you could use um, a transistor or whatever to activate whatever you want to use this for. Now there is another application for this. Um, you ever watch any them videos on them line following robots? It uses the same technology because the black line does not reflect 
the, the infrared light. And when it goes into the white or whatever other color they have, it does reflect it. And that's the principle of uh, the line following robots. They're detecting if um, the infrared light's being reflected back to the infrared transistor or not. And uh, I'm not going to go into the line following robots. Um, there's lots of videos on those, so I'm not going to make one. But if you're interested in that, do a YouTube search. There's a lot of them out there. But uh, like I said, we got our infrared LED, our infrared transistor, and then I've got a couple of resistors. And um, these two here are just to limit the current going to the infrared LED and the infrared transistor because they cannot handle five volts off the Arduino. It's more like two to three volts. Um, so that's what I have these here for is to limit the current so we don't burn them out. And then we also have the LED, or excuse me, the uh, infrared transistor is set up in a voltage divider network. Because you get stabler readings by doing it this way. If you just hooked it up without doing the voltage divider, any kind of light's going to mess with it big time. But by setting it up as a voltage divider, it kind of cleans it up and makes it work better. And like I said, I mean, I have to be close to it, and that's only because of my camera lights. If those weren't running, and they are super bright, if those weren't running, uh, I could get a foot out of this easily range. Um, other than that, there's nothing really else. Um, just, I got the LED here in place of the uh, the relay just for the demonstration. But yeah, normally you'd hook that up and that's on Digital Pen 6 for the code that I've wrote. But you can put it on any pen you want. All right. Um, well, why don't we go over to the computer? I'll bring up, I've got the schematic for this drawn up, and we'll run through it and show you how this is all set up. Then after that, uh, we'll go and take a look at the uh, Arduino sketch itself. So I'll catch you over at the computer in just a moment. All right, I've got the schematic brought up here. So let's just get right into it. Well, of course, we got our Arduino board here, and I'm using the Nano, but like I said, you can use any Arduino board. This is going to work with any of them. Now, um, we got our IR LED and our IR transistor, our infrared LED and transistor, and I'm using the 220 ohms on both of them as the current um, limiter. Because they will not handle the full 5 volts. They will not handle the full 5 volts. Now, pretty much anyone that you're going to find on eBay or Amazon, wherever you order from, this is going to probably work. If you're in doubt, you could probably run a 330. It might diminish the, uh, the distance that it'll work. But uh, it'll still work. But I, I'm pretty sure just run a 220 ohm resistor for both and you'll be fine. Then we have with the IR transistor, like I said, we're setting this up as a voltage divider. So you can see right here out of the middle, I am running over and we're bringing this in A5 because we're analog reading it. And then the other part of the voltage divider we're running a 470 k resistor now you might want to play around with this a little um go a little higher a little lower in value play with it and check your readings um in the arduino just use the serial monitor and you'll be able to monitor and check but i have found um, for this setup a 470 k works really good so most likely you're just going to want to set everything up like I have it. And then of course we have the relay over here. Now if you've got a powered relay, which at the uh, beginning of the video I showed you that one, that little module board, that has a positive input. 
because it uses an optocoupler to isolate it. Um, in Fritzing, the programming program I'm using to make this schematic doesn't have them in there currently, which I'm kind of surprised they don't, but they don't. But uh, just remember, you have to run your power to the relay, and then you have your input, and then the ground. And then you hook whatever you want to control to this, you'd hook it to these two down here. Because this is the off position. In the off position, well, you could hook something to it, but in the off position, it would be on. And then in the on position, it would be off. Otherwise, connect uh, whatever you want to control here and uh, you're good to go. And just remember, well, this here would go to ground, and then this would go to positive. Uh, and the same thing, if you want it to be when the relay is not activated, this would be positive, and this would be ground. And there's not a whole lot to this. I mean, this is a pretty easy beginner's project. Um, as you can see, there ain't a whole lot to this, so... I hope this all made sense to you. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go over to the uh, Arduino IDE and we're going to take a look at the, uh, the sketch for this project. So I'll catch you there in just a moment. Okay, I have the Arduino IDE opened up here. And as you can see, this is the entire sketch. This is a super easy project to put together. So uh, let's just get right into it. Oh, I forgot. I should delete that. That was something uh, I had when I was doing some testing. So I'll just get rid of that. What we have here is we're defining the relay to digital pin 6. Then we're doing an integer, and we're calling that val, which stands for value. Then we move down to the void setup, and of course we're doing our serial begin because we want to have um, the serial monitor to be able to display the values of the board. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to plug that back in. So that in a moment here, I can bring up the serial monitor and show it to you. And then uh, we're also the pin mode for the relay. Of course, that's output. So then what we do is we get down to the void loop. And we're setting val, which is our integer we set up. And we're doing an analog read of A5. And that's checking the infrared transistor and seeing what the value is. Then what we're doing is we're printing it to our serial monitor. Next, what we're doing is we're checking if val is greater than 85. Now, like I said, I set this higher. This should probably be around 40. Um, I was running my camera lights and they were really adding a lot of extra light and interfering with it. You're going to probably want to start out like around 40, um, 50 might be the max unless you're in an area with a ton of light. But around 40 to 50, you're going to get about a foot of range out of this. And then what happens... Okay, we'll get back to it. We're digital writing if the value is greater than or equal to 40, which we're reading our infrared transistor. If it is, we're digital writing the relay to high, means we're turning the relay on. Or in the example I showed you earlier, I had the LED. So we're turning the LED on. Otherwise, you have the relay hooked up, or you could hook up the transistor or whatever else you want to activate with the circuit. This is how you're going to activate it. Next, we have another if. Now, I first started with an else if, 
But um, with a little playing around, I found just having two if statements kind of worked better. Uh, I'm not really going to go into it unless, you know, if you're really advanced in Arduino, you might understand this, but I'm just not going to go into it. We're just going to have a second if instead of an else if. If the value is less than, well, I had 85, so I'm going to change this to 40, or you could put 50, and that should work. Then it digitally writes the relay low, so it turns it off, which means it's not detecting motion anymore. It turns it off. Then what we're doing is we're delaying one second. Um, you can change this if you want something that's not checking as often you could put like 5,000 in there have it check every five seconds if you want to check quicker I mean you could put like a hundred in there um, a tenth of a second that's up to you and that's what you change right there that's the delay and what this does is it just pauses the program as it's going through for a second right here or whatever number you put in there all right well as you can see that i mean this is really easy um this is a good beginner's project um if you're just getting started in there doing all playing your own try this out and you're gonna have fun with it and uh just remember i mean if you don't want to uh, your relay or your led on digital pen sex just change this number here and if you don't want to use analog pin 5, you can use any of the analog pins on your Arduino board. Just remember, change this. Leave the A. You want a capital A because that tells it it's the analog pins. And then put the number of the pin after it. Other than that, um, I don't think there's really anything else to go over. Um, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it big time. And uh, consider subscribing. I do lots of uh, videos. Um, I do kind of primarily stick to Arduino type stuff, but I do a little photography. And here and there I throw in a, a product review. And also it's summertime here now. And I'm putting up a couple videos on lawnmower repair and stuff like that but not many mostly i do stick to um stick to the arduino and electronic stuff so hey please subscribe i'd appreciate it um and hey you might learn something so with that i would like to thank you for joining us here today at the z hut i hope you have a great day and remember have fun building